Ugo Jagami Professor Polosko. Ugo Jagami Professor Makaruko. And Ugo Jagami Professor Henspeck. Ugo Jagami Dr. Oliver Kuntzny. And Ugo Jagami the EWGO. Um, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, students and guests. Um, especially my family, my wife Kui Li, my daughters Yan, and my son Xi, and also my <laughs> and also my students from abroad uh, to witness the event here that from all different countries. From my uh, from my Russia speaking country, my chief instructors, Alex, and students, Daria. Uh, and from uh, Ukraine, instructors, Sergei, and from my Belarus, Dima. From my U UK, <laughs> and from my Austria, Lobo, <laughs> and uh, from my US group, that is Kelly, <laughs> Ash, Heis, <laughs> uh, Dr. Whitehead. Professor Nancy from uh, and, uh, Joshua and Michael. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm uh, deeply thankful for the high recognition, and I feel proud to hold the honor from the State University of uh, Pasi Ilandeski for the Faculty of Theory and Method of Physical Education. Let the famous personalities such as Professor Dr. Helsbeck, John Blooming, and last not least, Carlo Ancelotis before me. Uh, this university has produced many fine athletics in many sport disciplines, and I feel honored by the award of this title. The State University of Plovdiv is one of the first universities to offer martial arts study, a program as early as in 1990. As for 20, over 20 years, Professor Kuspek and EWTO have worked with the State University of Plovdiv and have offered bachelor's Master's study in martial arts successfully for over 10 years and even PhDs has come out of these studies. Uh, as a martial arts artist and above all teachers, my lifetime's goal is to spread and share my arts. To sit down with the world and developments of martial arts in an academy, sci scientific ways has always been my great importance to me. And I have already been coordinate, cooperating with American universities like Gubini universities in Philadelphia. So uh, with uh, Gubini universities, we offer credit costs that a subject like learning how to learn and conflict and cooperation that are run by our students, Professor Nancy and Instructor Langtran. <laughs> so far, Zhongxing School has established in more than 20 countries 
like US, right? Russia's, uh, Russia speaking countries, like Poland, we have Netherlands, Ukraine, Lafayette, Belarus, Lutiana, Netherlands, England, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Slo Slovenia, Slovakia, Croatia, Istria. And we now, uh, we newly, with Professor comes back and the EWTO, we work of exclusive, exclusively together in, in countries like Germany, Denmark, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, and Bulgaria. Uh, we have started building up headquarters in Cyprus. Now, with the help of the UN cities of Blothin, I'm looking forward to make Jung say martial arts is not just a fighting. Right. They have the important roles in forming characters and society and societies. It's an art of a discipline, right? Learning mental physical. And especially when we use martial arts as a tool to understand yourself, it's very direct. And because that directness need attention, and they have readiness and alertness, that's what we talk about. Awareness, mindfulness, so recognizing the understanding of your mind and the physical. Right. Now, in Zhongxing Dao, what does it mean? Uh, it's a path based on Zen philosophy and Tao. Right? And um, it's a viewpoint. It's a viewpoint that how we approach to see things, right? That that we can understand from the direct what is the nature of the mind and what is the nature of the physical, right? So and and is <coughs> appropriate for everybody, for old people, for young people, and even for disabled people, right? practice regardless of age and physical conditions. So it consists of the health, the martials, and the spirituals. So, uh, and it also can improve the sport performance and physical condition and as well as the society in general. Uh, The approach of directness that help us to open up our our mind, see, to calm down our mind and open up our heart. So, to recognizing the conditions by itself, right? It, it gives you the right way of interact because understanding the directness of contact. That knowing what is the present and knowing what is from the past from the past to judge the moment. So we talk about learning how to learn. So we start to understand from what is knowing. Because very fundamental things we talk about knowing that how can you know? So you're knowing from what reference? Are you knowing from the past reference that you judge? Or you are knowing from the moment direct present <laughs> reference that you don't judge? You understand the condition by itself and you act appropriately with the environment. So in this way, you are always 
need to be open up yourself. So from here, it creates a good environment. So with a good environment, it creates this influence people around you and you will live safe and happy. Right? That is through our discipline and with the direct knowing from the conditions that we say that you have the right understanding and you act in the moment of appropriate. So, as you know that, when we say present, if you can maintain present, everything is beautiful by itself. Because everything has its own place and time and has its own value. So, so then you can able to see everything is equal. So everyone, with that kind of equalness, from the very base, you see everything is beautiful. So it helped the mental and physical that you can release yourself. All right, then, um, <coughs> So, for the Zhongxing Dao approach, is is the way that we see things. So, let me explain a little bit why Zhongxing Dao, right? Because Zhongxing Dao, Zhong in Chinese is a center, or you can say it's a middle, or you can say it's neutral. So it's a neutral center balance approach All right so important is that for the present you can only know from the balance point from balance point here you change you know All right then it fall back into here that we need to have discipline of of understanding what is concentration and what is awareness. Right? Awareness is the quality of the mind. Right? With the quality of mind that you understand, it's a tool that you can use in everything. With the pure awareness that when you come in contact, you can has a reflection of the true nature of things. So from here, you are not judging. So from here, you have direct knowing, we call that. Right? When direct knowing, if everyone have that kind of direct knowing, it contribute everyone see the same thing. So there is no more quarreling. Right? It's because that we all based on our past to judge the moment. Everyone know, but everyone know differently. So sometimes because of this, argument come in. All right? So if we can have everyone see the base of origin, the same, so everyone work together. So it produced harmony, balance in the society. All right, okay. and uh, and here, uh, Professor Marco Rituf has invited me to teach lecture and workshops uh, on a regular basis of of let's say once per year. Or maybe we will see how it progress. So, uh, so we will work together <laughs> on philosophy, concepts, and principles of martial arts, and how to develop the body unity and the biomechanics and, and genetics, and also the strategies of movement. What is the appropriate movement actions? that you interact with sport 
or with any things you come in contact. So we have, uh, we need to understand through recognizing the mental and physical. So I promise I would try to come as often as possible. And we'll cooperate with Professor Makarutuf, Professor Hensbeck, and Dr. Oliver Cotney. Yeah? Sure. Right? Sure. Connie. Sure, Connie. Sorry. <laughs> All right. To further develop the research of the logic and function of the martial arts and help the university's students in this field. So, um, right, I would thank you for your attentions and thank you. <laughs>